and welcome to today's discussion on 16th century bonnets, otherwise known as flat caps. Here are just a few historic examples of bonnets. Here are just a few examples from the 1530s to the 1560s. Typically bonnets were made of wool, but sometimes were made of velvet. They first appeared as knitted caps for the English peasantry in the 1300s. In the 16th century, black was the most common color worn. A sumptuary law from 1571 required every non-noble male over the age of six to wear a wool cap on Sundays and holy days or face a three shilling fine in an effort to bolster the all-important wool trade. During this time period, high quality wool may have cost more than silk. In the later half of the 16th century, woolen caps became a symbol for the flourishing merchant class. It appears to have been more common for a man to wear, however, it was not unheard of for a noble woman to also wear a bonnet along with something else to adorn her hair, such as a hairnet, a coif, or a cawl. If you would like to make your own flat cap, first you need to measure around your head. This measurement will be the circumference around the top of your head. For example, your head may be 23 inches around. Next, you need to determine what the diameter of that circumference is. Using the example of 23 inches around, then the diameter would be 7.3 inches. Diameter is the circumference divided by pi or 3.14. You also will want to make a note of what your radius is, and the radius is the diameter divided by two. I suggest taking out a piece of cardboard or scrap fabric, preferably scrap fabric since it will be more pliable than the cardboard, but you want to use something to test out your measurements before you cut your good fabric. Here are two pictures of what your pieces should look like. You should have three brims cut out and then they will look like the picture on the right hand side with both an inner circle and an outer circle. And then you will want one bonnet layer which will be the top layer cut out and that will only have the measurement for the outer circle which is the radius plus three inches if you have folded your fabric in half lengthwise and widthwise. Otherwise, that outer circle is the measurement of the diameter plus six inches, which is three inches on either side of the brim. If you would like to follow along with written instructions, I have found two different sets of written instructions online, and I recommend either of these websites. Otherwise, please keep an eye out for an upcoming video where I will show you step-by-step -step on how to make a 16th century bonnet. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the left hand side. Remember to select thumbs up that you like the video. If you have questions or comments, please post them in the comments below. And as always, please click subscribe to be updated when new videos come out.